Best wedge, Matthew, on camera, hello. Hello. Wilson stuff. Ooh. Glide Forged Pro from Pink. Callaway Jaws. SM8 Titus Voki. The Mizuno um, T22 from my Cleveland Rusty Full Face. So how would you choose a wedge? What is the best wedge? What makes the best wedge? Who knows? Should we test and see if we can feel differences? I've yeah, got let's... some data. I did a big old test with each one as well. Oh my word, you must have hit loads. I hit a on. lot of shots uh, from a distance, I can't remember, a set distance, a pitch shot. Yeah. Um, just to see if there's any difference in the spin, because lots of these are advertised with like more spin, those yeah, kind of yeah. ideas. But what should you be thinking about when it comes to buying the best wedge? So, wedge off. I'm going to hit a few with each one, talk about looks and feel. Matt is two. When we look to kick us off, obviously the two stand are out as for difference of the high toes. This is the Cleveland high toe, this is the RTX, but you can get this in a non high toe version. This is the Jaws in the high toe version as well so you got the grooves all the way up the face so if you compare it to something else look this is the is this what one is that <laughs> that's hard to tell that's the it? wilson it's, yeah you were gonna say vokey i reckon i was close you? to saying vokey yeah. and then i didn't see the grip was yeah. right you can see you've got the silver bit at the edge you haven't yeah. got the toes to the edge to the corner and it's not quite as high in the toe yeah more rounded and obviously same in the ping no arcos in the top of it uh. that's why i thought it wasn't the ping yeah yeah they're normally no stats with wedges so like... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and then the mizuno again very rounded yeah maybe a little straighter at the leading edge Darker these are all groove set these... as well yeah slightly but see the leading edge of it see it's a little straighter yeah not as curved and a bit more curved in say that one yeah and then the Vokey, you know, a stock favourite for many. Yeah, yeah. Which is just a good classic shape. So Callaway did high toe, well, apart from Ping doing it in their older club, I guess they were one of the first ones to do high toe. So I quite like high toe. I actually game high toe by choice in my Strixon. Cleveland. Sorry, in my Cleveland. I don't see it really helping me from day to day is just the odd situation where you might strike it up there and you think i'm kind of glad it's there yeah definitely um, oh down oh, 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 oh. slightly learned from the first one <laughs> uh, so feel of those two again not really feeling much difference in those yeah i think as the high toe shape goes i think the callaway is a little bit more brutal okay it's called jaws the high, and it looks like a shark tooth to me yeah that one pointier. yeah yeah. Less curved on the uh, Where this edge. one looks all more refined, more rounded and pretty. So again, it'll be what you prefer. And if anything, the jaws looks sharper on the top end because mine is high toe. So in the Cleveland with added chunk up there. Yeah. And you see it, it's bulbous, it's swollen at the top. I think they have to do that though because they don't take the weight out of the bottom. Like Correct. Yeah. Is that so right? they, yeah, I think they've got the weight out of the bottom. And the tech will come up as we go through the yeah. video again when it comes to tech in the wedges you lead you know into that learn into that as much as you are so high toe i think is a good option for lots of golfers i just think it's something that you'll use often without you even know you're using it long grass it'll catch higher up yeah, there and it'll do set up a fraction more than you even knew it would have and you wouldn't have known it's done what it's done i wouldn't be buying one for high toe thinking oh i just need that yeah i actually quite like the look of it in a lofted so i don't use it in my 52 i only use it in my most lofted where i am putting the face open the ball's riding up the face more and i'm just happy there's something else up there yeah basically so standout features now when we start coming to these and you could see earlier it's very hard for me to tell you which one is which yeah you put these down you literally can't tell the difference well if the I grip gives me a, that's the yeah, that's the giveaway <clears throat> that's the vokey yeah and i can tell that by the grip i think <laughs> that is the ping by the roundness which it is always very rounded yeah obviously this one also has hydropearl yeah this is i think a similar technology to maybe high toe not in what it does but in how it might shine through so hydropearl they're saying it's going to give you a higher consistency of spin different lofts like when the water's on the ball because yeah, there's yeah. like you know we're in spain it's getting up to 20 degrees today in november which is lovely there's dew I'll pick one of these Morning balls up. Too, look, yeah. look, look at the wet on it. You mm. See the grass sticking to it. Yeah. There is always 
a chance of having some damp around. So I struggle to find it in tests. Some people have found it in tests. I think you have to hit thousands of balls to actually find it in a test. So if you think about that, how many times are you hitting this club? Are you hitting it thousands of times for that to come through? So it's something that will come through again almost without you knowing. Yeah. So nice I, I, to have, but you won't see it from shot to shot. I think if you go in, I'm going to test the wedge. You know, I'll hit 50 shots of it or 20 shots of it, yeah. which would be lots in a test. You know, if you think about your average custom fits, even for a wedge, the chances of it playing through in that small time is really slim. The ping is a lovely shape, really kind Classic. of small and rounded and pretty. Um, lovely feel as well to it. Like it has no ping feel to that. Okay. That soft, forged, beautiful, like that. I think they've really come on with their wedges. Yeah. SM8. Classic. Bokey, yeah. tight list. Very much a classic, very much a stock favourite. A go-to. Yeah, and I can see why the shapes are good. The um, feel is really good. Not forged, believe it or not. Lots of people don't realise that with these yeah they're not forged but i don't know i just think everyone's playing catch up a little bit to the kind of feelings on of what Vokey do in the wedge market mm -hmm. i think in performance wise people are there so called up it's kind of like the ball isn't it like yeah they've got the ball yeah and everyone's tied into it because they've used it for so long and it's the same with the wedge until you get another one in your hands but the other you thing realize is realize that there's all good ones out there totally and i think as well if people are trying to catch up to this why not just use the one that they're trying to catch up to <laughs> yeah, yeah. if they're not overtaking it well i'll just stick with my preferred favorite yeah. and i think that's a real testimony to how good they are so the two more underdogs this is the wilson wilson yeah. staff model feels a little different in the hands maybe a little lighter i think you'll feel that when you pick it up it feels a little lighter sometimes that makes you feel like it's cheaper okay shaping of it is delicious it's the one that i've um it's the second closest out of that bunch i think it's the one i've i've wanted to like have a go with since like the start of this video like yeah. trying to know what well, I'll be interested. You'll, you'll, do. you'll have a hit in a second. It, it yeah. feels a little too light, but looks delicious. And then a wedge company, not wedge company, iron company, Mizuno. Mm -hmm. A company I always feel should do so much better in the wedge market. With the irons being so popular. Well, because it's the same ideas in yeah. so many ways. Yeah. And I've used Mizuno wedges for years as growing up and what have you. And I could never quite understand why people would think Vokies are so much better and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just, just think well, that just fits <laughs> into my set that so many of us are saying we love in yeah. the Mizunos. But now all of a sudden I need a tightless wedge. <laughs> I never used to make sense to me. Because um, that just does look beautiful and feels super, super nice. And now that one's the second closest as well out of this. But yeah, I mean, they feel very close. The Wilson feels the lightest and the cheapest. I quite like high toe, some people might not, but they all look pretty good. So trying to not look at the grip. I'm not looking, I haven't looked at the grips. Okay. And I literally have, one of these two is a tight list. Yeah. And I think it's this one. It is that one. They're all the same to me. Apart from the, yeah, those ones are so close. Literally, like if this one says 150 pounds and this one says 49, then I'll buy that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like literally all the same, apart from the grooves are slightly different color on these two, a bit darker. These two are obviously totally different, and it's obvious which one's which. In the high toes. Yeah, I see what you mean about the top of the Cleveland being a bit chunkier. I like both of those really. I've never used high toe yet. You have actually. You had one. You oh, had yeah. the Nicholson uh, one. Was that high? I don't think. Uh, it was. You, d you had yeah, what okay, I had. So I that have was... used high toe. I haven't used the full grooves then. I don't think that had the full grooves across or did it? I don't think it was full grooves across the face. I can't remember, but it definitely, definitely was high toe. Definitely high toe, yeah. Yeah, it was. You're right. It was. Mizuno to start. And the only thing that I don't like is that the number's not on the bottom of the club, it's on the back. Yes. Like when it sits in your bag and your next one's here, how am I going to see the next one? Yeah. Like if you've got three as well, if there's two, it's like obvious because you know what that one is. But if you've got three set wedge makeup, then... <sighs> Oh, it's all about the organisation. You can keep your hydropole. Yeah. 
<laughs> nice little chip. Yeah, a nice feel, nice sound. Nothing that I would say is different to my current Callaway wedges there. Yeah. The Titleist, definitely a bit more like curved lean edge on the, these ones, I think. Yeah. Um, not as straight, is it? Yeah. Uh, I've just realised that these are 56s as well. Yes, they are, yeah. <laughs> 56, coach, yep. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, Adjustment that, on the second shot. Nice feel on that tightless one again. Couldn't really tell the difference between the two on the feel there. Um, Wilson next. So you said this was a bit lighter. <laughs> Marginal, that. I wouldn't pick, really... Again, just pick one of the others up and then we'll have two in your hand. You're not feeling that? Not really, no. Possibly swinging it. I think the grip might be a bit thinner. Off an R on Wilson. Yeah, So, and you could, um, I guess, get your wedge custom fit and put a heavier shaft or something in it, couldn't you? This yeah, might be heavier grip. stock shaft, I guess. Change the grip to a fatter one, whatever you need to do. Bit of a harder feel on that one. Okay. Bit more clicky. Ping, glide. I like the shape of this one. Oh, it's a bit small for Yeah, me. okay. Nice and rounded. Yeah, and uh, it's a bit funny on the old heel side. You don't like where it joins in the heel, yeah, no? Yeah, it's like a bit too much like curving and this bit sticking out too much. It's normally like cuts off down here, but there's a bit there. Yeah, okay. But yeah, definitely a little squattier on this one. Same feel as Titleist and what was the first one? I can't even remember, Mizuno. Now obviously you gain Callaway wedges, so it'd be interesting if you notice any difference in the, because obviously the look's very different in the Jaws high toe. It makes me just want to whack it open and flop it up. Does it, yeah. High toe. <laughs> it doesn't make me want to like turn it Hood in. It in. And, yeah, makes me just want to flop it up there. Bit of a thinner grip on this one too, actually. Oh, don't. Oh, did that go in? It's gone in. Perhaps I should use a 56. And you should be high toe. And high toe. What are the chances of that going in and being that club, eh? Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> Best club, that one. <sighs> Cleveland. This is my weapon. This is like um, the, the ping, it's squattier. Yeah. So a lot like thinner face and roundier. I do think I prefer the Callaway look actually on the high toe. It's sharper, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, nah, it doesn't go in. Not a bad little selection though. Yeah, a bit closer than mine's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I am a bit closer. But... Yeah, yours was easier. So when it comes to feel and looks, there's so much personal preference, isn't there, which I would like to see the audience be of the confidence to trust their personal preference in look and feel. Yeah, I think that the margins are gonna be like the smallest out of all of these kind of clubs, isn't it? Like driver, you might see a game, but it's again rare, but the differences on maybe spin, which we'll look at in a minute, I think are gonna be very tight. Yeah, well, why don't we look at the, I did a huge test with all these clubs hitting a 50 yard pitch. Why don't we look at what the difference is in the spin, which is often the most sold word when it comes to a wedge. So looking at these wedge numbers, I hit 50 yard pitch shots with all the wedges. So just the kind of standard mid range pitch. And what you're gonna see is some interesting movements and non-movements in these numbers. I've just got them off screen here. So if we go with the launch angle, as you'd imagine, there's a window that they're launching through, all very similar with the ping and the tight list, just launching a fraction higher. But the standard deviations of all of those crossover, they're basically launching all very much the same. You could argue the Callaway was a slightly split set of launches and the tighter launches was in the ping and the tight list. And the Cleveland just but I mean so they're very the Callaways that stand out with more the spreader launches but how much of that is me in the club well to give that a fair test and I hit a lot of pitches with this set of data you'd have to hit a lot more and then there's a part of me that thinks if you're hitting this many shots are you actually seeing 
any statistical difference that you'd see out on the golf course to see a minuscule of a statistical distance possibly. And now when it comes to the spin, you had the ping down at the lowest, you had the Mizuno and the Callaway up slightly at the highest with the Cleveland and the Wilson next. Then with the tight list coming in second to last, you could argue. But again, if you look at the crossover of all these lines, it's the human mess that's coming through there. I wouldn't see any of those of having an advantage over spin. Things I would be interested to carry on looking at is what's interesting is that the Callaway now has the tightest spin range when it didn't have the tightest launch range, which just makes no sense. It's again, it's just that human mess comes through with wedges. Certainly when spin is being sold, which is a key selling point with wedges, I think it's such a dangerous thing to go down. Apart from it works often with the audience, it just resonates. When it actually comes to testing it, hard to find. Again, the ping had a massive clump there around the average. Um, you can see lots of them have very spreads away from the average where the ping did have a big clump around the average, which you could argue is the uh, coating on the face, but again, so close. So when it came to those wedges, I didn't feel that one had an advantage over distance. I certainly didn't feel like one had an advantage over spin. If this is a dry ball test, so obviously when you take these into condition, conditions, the companies are, are claiming different things, which again, you could go away and test. And I think you would need to hit many, many, many shots to actually see a difference, bearing in mind the human mess is always going to be there. I just saw a group of really good wedges, to be fair. So what about finishes, Matt? You can see the Callaway has a different face and then in turn it, it finishes differently. My one's turned colour from its original colour. Yeah. It's kind of rusted off. Then you've got versions of Chrome and Hybrid Pearl. Obviously, you can get most of these selections in a different finish. Yeah. Lots of the big wedge companies do offer like three different three, finishes. Probably, yeah. Do do you pick on finish or is that like an added after? Like, so you pick your wedge and then you think about the finish next or are you going, I want that wedge because of the finish and now I'm going to see if I can get that in the brand I want. <sighs> cool. The most annoying thing with a wedge in the loft is the sun glare in your eyes. Okay. So I personally tend to go towards a dark finish if I can and I like you say most of these are probably going to have a darker finish so it's not something that I'm going to think of first because I know the options are there anyway yeah I would be going by feel looks and then that as a last sort of thing so for me finish has a bit of a function but it as you say with glare but it, I always think of it for me with a wedge and there's a different view that's fine this is more my opinion like I chose a Tesla, the car I drive, because of the functions. Uh -huh. So I choose the loft of my wedge like I would choose, you know, if I want a long range battery or short range battery on my car. Yeah. Okay. Then I will choose the shape of the wedge around the functionality of what I want a wedge to look like. So do I want the five door or seven door car? Do I want five seats, seven seats in my car? Yeah. Okay. So I'm kind of going in that order. Finish would literally be what colour I get of the car at the end. It would. It, it's not shaping any of my decisions. Yeah, that's quite interesting. I'm not. I'm, I'm not shaping a decision a car, around. I'm always grey. I just know that it's going to be grey. <laughs> How predictably <laughs> boring. Well, it doesn't get too dirty, does yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's just boringly. <laughs> it's like so boringly practical. <laughs> You so you would buy a, you would buy a Ferrari in grey. You wouldn't get a red one. No, I want that in grey. We don't make it in red, grey, sir. It's a Ferrari. They come in yeah, red, yellow. Well, I want it in grey. Yeah, I, do. I don't want that now. I'm going to go over and see it that Volvo be... garage over there. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a one unique Ferrari but, in grey, wouldn't so, it? Yeah. So, but the other thing I think with finish as well that we can also the other option when it comes to choosing your wedges. I do think companies that have huge ranges in their wedges, bounces, grinds. lofts, grinds. Um, like if you take Cleveland, for example, they've got copious amounts of lofts, bounces. They've got the tour rack ones, which this is a tour rack one. See, it's got yeah. the T on it, so yeah. you can get different grinds at the front and the back. Uh, if you look at like the Vokey, Vokey. options, yeah. 
it's just so many combinations because it's a serious wedge company yeah yeah where i, I again i might be wrong here because i've not looked at every option ping maybe a little less in options wilson definitely wilson less. a few less so I, and i don't know with Callaway. i think their options are up there now Callaway, but I, yeah they're yeah up there. their grinds bounces lofts are all pretty decent now so that's honest. kind of what i want in a wedge company yeah. i want them to take it seriously enough for me to take it serious enough which yeah. i think some do maybe a little better than other but i wouldn't be buying on finish what about choosing bounces and grinds well you've got to blend your bounces and grinds into your sets and how you play a club because remember when it comes to a bounce if i take the wilson one here so the bounce how far the back end of this club is from the front end mm -hmm. it changes if i move the handle back and forwards as i play it so i've done separate videos on how to choose bounce and grind maybe um check those out would you choose a club say on bunker play me personally again like if i had a wedge and i hit a number of shots i would adjust probably to it quicker than most people like i think people get too hooked up on bounce and what bounce they need for in a bunker so it doesn't take enough uh, as much sand as what they yeah, do yeah. i don't think that it will have a small impact, I think, whereas you need to build your skill set to be a better bunker player. Yeah, yeah. It might have, again, over a certain amount of time, a little influence on it, but I would, I would be going more out here on the grass, watch your bad shot, and then fit from there. So we're gonna do a little challenge then to finish. I mean, yeah. if you had to pick a favorite before we do this, what would you choose? Um, so my kind of look and what I'm used to, I would probably go Mizuno. It's got sharper look um, and it's just like nice. Yeah, okay. I would go, I mean, I like Cleveland and Titleist for the seriousness of yeah. the combination. So hard to pick between those two. I do, I am quite intrigued in the jaws and the sharpness of that high toe. So that would be something I would want to look at and test more. That does appeal to me. And then I do really like the fact that this one comes out cheaper and the date is very similar and I can't really see any difference. I don't feel any difference. I think this one is an underdog. Yeah. So I'm going to choose this for the competition that we're going to do to finish just for fun. I'm but it would annoy me that this hasn't got the amount of options that I would want in a wedge company. I'm going to choose it for the people who want to save money. I'm going to choose the Mizuno because I like the look of it, but the loft on the back definitely annoys me. Okay, but game on with these two. Yeah. Right, first shot. First of three, okay? First of three. 56, little lobber. Okay. We'll play it how you like. You could just go there and I'm going to go up. A little... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Wilson one up. <laughs> nice little dunchy run out, wasn't it? What? <laughs> nice shot. Nice little dunchy run out. Mm, cheeky. He ain't getting inside that, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. Didn't get the spin I got. I hit the down slope a bit. You have to throw it further. One up, Wilson. A little bunker shot added in to the equation. Not much green sloping to the right. Yeah. I think you're right. I think it's the grip. It's yeah. this end. But can I just take your club a second? You can. It's that end. It's like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> It's the grip. It's like uber light, yeah. isn't it? Oh, he's played it lovely. Oh, don't. Oh, don't stop. Did you hear the FUD? That oh, was, it was beautiful. I would call that the um, Justin Rose FUD. Do you remember when we took Justin Rose on in the bunker and we had three bunker shots and I just hit, oh. Mm. And he was like, what are you doing that for? I'm meant to win these. <laughs> Keep the gold medal, bruh. Now, it's certainly beatable, mine. Oh, sit. No. What is going on? Because it's a 56, not a 58. <laughs> <laughs> two nil. As the Wilson has proven itself mightiest in the first two nil rounds, we're going to go high toe and go in the rough. Okay. Might as well go in the rough and test the high toe. I'll use my Cleveland and you can use your company Callaway. All right. Obviously, any of these wedges get fit, make your own decisions. These are just our opinions. None of these companies have any say on the outcome of any of these videos. We are just showing you what we think. 
So downhill lie in the rough, and Spanish rough is not like UK rough, because it like sits up. Sits it? up, yeah. You're going low and drawy. No, you see, I need, to, I don't practice enough to, because that is the shot I would play if I was any good. I'm going to go up like normal and just chuck it up there. Okay. Oh, sit down a bit. Chucked it too far. Oh, I said good shot. Yeah, though. did you see the stop on it? Yeah. And I, you could feel it riding. Like I struck it quite good, but you could feel it yeah. coming up the face. Cause I didn't want to go too low. Cause now you're going to get, I, I want the high toe to work for me. And it's, these are one of those situations. I'm just not in this situation that much where I'm happy I have a high toe. Yeah. So again, very beatable. You need to beat that, otherwise this is over. <laughs> and the last two clubs don't get a, a little try. We might have try. to have a bonus too on the tight list <laughs> in the ping there. So you've gone low and runny. So yep, you've won that, I think. Don't need to even think. Don't think, that's a win. Good shot, sir. Thank you. So ping and tight list to finish, and we've come into the shadow to get a bit of dew because obviously the ping has its hydropure, which other people are starting now to copy. This is my worst shot, and maybe your best. Oh, I thought I might have just broke a little bit. I like, I'm going to try a little, like, I would normally just take, I wouldn't use this and go lower, I would use a lower lofted club. Yeah. Get up. Ah, oh, it's not a draw, is it? The old comeback king on it again. What is it with you and comeback? Hey. Oh, it's too much hydro pearl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Needed a bit more water between ball and groove, didn't you? <laughs> Let it run out Let a it bit. run out more. I think Wilson's really good value. I think Cleveland, Callaway, tight list offer loads of options. Mizuno do also. I think Mizuno's a good underdog. I don't yeah. know why people don't buy more into that. Yeah. I think Callaway's wedge game is really raised. Obviously, you've got lots of options. We've just got the full toe. They call it full toe compared to uh, other ones, full face and what have you. Um, hard to choose. I think you would go with company, I think, or it would be the style. Honestly, you choose in the comments. I'm struggling. They're all just really good, aren't they? Absolutely. They're good, good wedges.